Our college football Week 10 playoff predictions brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. They got six awesome sports books down there. Samstown, Hollywood, First Jackpot, Horseshoe, Gold Strike, and the Fitz Casino. You can find more information on all of those sports books over at tunicatravel.com. You can also get our picks, our previews, our recaps, all those wonderful things over at winningcureseverything.com. Let's jump into this. So you don't do a top six, do you? I don't know why. But we, right. we, how, how many playoff spots are there? Uh, well, there's four. Okay. That's, that's what I, I always do the two that are left out. And we'll, we'll spin this. My number six. We could do the eight that's left out since it should be an 18 tournament. I didn't go that far. I do the six because they always reveal the six, right? I don't know. I, just it's, to, just it's to the show TV those show. other two teams that you're not hey, good y'all were y'all were close, but you didn't quite get there. Uh, so number six for me is UCF, and their remaining schedule they've got Navy, Cincinnati at South Florida. They need Cincy to beat South Florida this week, I think, because they need that game to be a big time game. And South Florida getting beat by Tulane last week really hurt them. So it doesn't matter if South Florida has two losses, three losses, whatever. They just need to have Cincinnati. One loss, Cincinnati team. Yeah, and and have Cincinnati be ranked. That's right. So if Cincinnati beats South Florida this week, absolutely. And they get they get South Florida at home, so that's good. Uh, UCF gets uh, Cincy at home. They get Navy at home. They play at South Florida at the end of the year. And then the AAC championship game. It's it's too mucky to try to figure out. I mean, it's, it's either Houston, uh, SMU, or Tulane. Well, yeah, but... That a lot could happen in a lot three weeks happen. between the way that I mean, Houston could lose out. I mean, they could they could have rolled the way they rolled all season, and, and they only and scored thirty one points and in lose Dallas. the last four. Yeah, I mean that's that's the way it goes. Uh, number five for me is Oklahoma. They they play Oklahoma State in Kansas, and then they have to play at West Virginia. If they beat West Virginia, then they get to play. It looks like probably West Virginia again. What does West Virginia have on their schedule remaining? Do you have that? West Virginia remaining. Yeah, as Not a matter of fact, I can pull time. it up. No, 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 no. This will be fine. This'll because be fine. I wonder if West Virginia has got a got a. Bump well, no, they, in the they play too. like uh, like Oklahoma State. Um, I mean, that's that's not going to be a gimme. No, it's not a gimme. But uh, but I mean, it, you look at the two teams right now, and it's like okay. Um, their schedule remaining is they host TCU this Saturday. They play at Oklahoma State, and then they host Oklahoma. So yeah, okay, they could easily win out. They could, it, they could it, until it, win the last two games until Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Got so it. at that point, you're going to have a top ten matchup against Oklahoma, and then probably get to play them again. So if they beat Oklahoma the first time, will Oklahoma with two conference losses still get in? Uh, yeah. Well, it depends on what Texas does, what Iowa State does. Uh, Iowa State and Texas both have two losses. So but Texas got the tiebreaker over Oklahoma. So Texas does they win out. Yeah, if so, it could be Texas and West Virginia again. But that wouldn't be a bad game to see twice. No, no, that, that wouldn't a be a pretty bad. good game the first time. Um, however, Texas does play Iowa State, and they still have. Let's see, uh, at Texas Tech this week, Iowa State, and then at Kansas. Yeah, that's a, the 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 Iowa State and the Texas Tech game could be and it's could be tough. It's a night game in Lubbock. Yeah, again. that's that's gonna be so, tough. That's yeah, gonna be I, don't tough. Know, I don't know that crowd can get up two weeks in a row. Iowa State's schedule remaining is, uh, let's see, at Texas, Kansas State. Oh, sorry, Baylor, at Texas, Kansas State. They've got Incarnate Word scheduled for December 1st. How do they have four games left? Well, remember they had a game uh, canceled. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it, and, and they scheduled it the weekend of the Big 12 championship game. But if they're in that thing, they're gonna cancel hey, they the could run Word. out. They could win out. I, I like their chances of winning out, but they've got two losses, so they would need West Virginia – to beat Oklahoma? Is it not crazy to think Hang about on. the fact that Iowa State lost at TCU? Would they need <laughs> o- but so hang on. They have the tiebreaker over West Virginia. Yeah. They don't have the tiebreaker over Oklahoma. Correct. So they would need Oklahoma to beat West Virginia to get in if they went out. Yes. Dang. If they went out and Oklahoma beats West Virginia, then we get an Oklahoma it's, it's not a rematch. Iowa State. It's not a rematch. It's, well, we get it, well, all of them are but rematches. We, but it's but not. It's not a back-to-back rematch. Yeah, it's not a back-to-back. At that West point. Virginia's bounced. But but that would require either Iowa State or Texas to win out. And that's I just don't know that that's going to happen. Looking at that schedule, I don't see why it's not. You think Iowa State right now can't beat Texas at home, right? Well, I mean, they, they got they got Baylor at Texas and Kansas State. And they, they can absolutely beat Baylor. They can absolutely beat Kansas State. 
I think at, at Texas, Texas might be tough. tough. But I mean, I, I thought it was going to be tough for the date. I mean, they West might Virginia. Could, they might could pull that off. I mean, they've won. Let's see, one, two. They've won four games in a row at Oklahoma State uh, against West Virginia against Texas. Well, if we're going to break down that game, let me tell you my thoughts. What do we say about Texas and why we think they're decent in the Big Twelve? They're set up to beat Big Twelve teams. Iowa State is not a Big Twelve I, team. They Iowa are. State is not a Big Twelve team. You are correct about <clears> that. <throat> so, so UCF, Oklahoma. I've got Oklahoma winning out. I think they're better at what they do than West Virginia. Well, they is. should. They're more talented than all of the teams in the Big Twelve. Yeah. So I, I think they would beat West Virginia twice, or 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 Iowa State again, or whatever. Which I mean, who knows? But either way, that's this is my thought. This is my prediction. So right. I think Oklahoma is going to be the fifth team and the last team uh, looking in. Number four. I'm going to guess these are the same as they have been for a while, right? Probably. All right, so number four, I got Michigan. Nobody moved for me. I've got Michigan. This is We do this based on what we think is going to happen. Yeah. I think Michigan's going to win out. All right, and I think number three, I've got Notre Dame winning out. So I've got Clemson winning out. So in in the reason – so I've got Clemson number two and then Alabama one. you got Bama one. Yeah. I'm and you got Notre Dame, Dame Notre Dame two. Dame two. So Dame you've one. got Notre Dame two because you think that their wins will be better than Clemson's wins. I think their wins are better right now. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't think they're going to get worse than Clemson's wins. Well, Clemson, wins. I think Clemson's Notre Dame best will have win. a win over a, a team in the playoffs. Yeah. Which like, is, I don't know how we can argue that the committee won't say, man, Notre Dame should be three. That number four team, they beat and they kind of beat them up week one. Yeah. I mean, you might like, be right. Like, I just don't know how we're still not figuring that out. I, 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 I get that Clemson has looked unbelievable beating up these high school teams. I, I understand that if you are a garbage team, Clemson will beat the hell out of you. I get that. Notre Dame hasn't. Some of that could be choice. Some of it could be they just they weren't up for the game. A million reasons why they haven't beaten up on the special teams yeah. than, than the way Clemson has. But if you look at the resumes and say wins and losses, one team's schedule is far superior than the others. Yeah. I mean, okay. I, I will I will give you one, that. One of the playoff teams that they beat is in the damn playoff with them. I, I, I just think, don't know how you get away from that. Now, this is, this is going to go crazy if, if Boston College upsets Clemson this coming week. Oh, yeah. Uh, but I think Clemson has been looking to get up for a game like this. Like they just they they haven't had many opportunities. Well, they had an opportunity against A and M, and they got up for it, and they won. They had an opportunity against Syracuse, and they got up for it, and they won. And they were close. And they were close. Yeah, I mean that. Now, if they house BC, that but that's a good win. That'll be a good win for them. Yeah, BC should be in the top twenty right. this week. But but it's not the same as housing Michigan. Now, Which you're Notre right. Dame did. And I know that we all say, well, that was the first game of the season, so it shouldn't count. No, no, it absolutely should count for Notre Dame. Yeah. It, like, it, these games should matter. Week one is no different than week 12. It shouldn't be. No, I think you're right. All right, that was pretty quick playoff predictions. I don't think this is going to change a whole lot. I, I mean, if, if, Clemson, if Clemson gets beat by anybody and then wins the Big 12, or the, the ACC, I think they're out, and I think they're out strictly for the sake of the ACC is just too bad, yeah. and they didn't play the the few good teams that there might be. They just didn't play them, and and it's shame. It, it sucks for them that A and M's not good. I mean, if A and M was a was a ten win football team, then that'd be really good for Clemson. Yeah, they could have four or five losses. I mean, it's just gonna. I mean, they, they already got four. Well, they already got does. four. Yeah, and they could they could uh, lose again. And they could lose again. I mean, they've they've got Ole Miss and, uh, and LSU and LSU, and then like uh, uh, just a crap team. Yeah, yeah, a high school so. team. But but that's that's hmm. it. That's yep. their big win, and that sucks. But we what we say about UCF? Well, look at their schedule. Well, look at Clemson's schedule. Yeah, no, you're right. Played one good team. Got beat. Now, and that depends on how you look at the other team. Like, if NC State wins out and they've got 10 wins, if Syracuse wins out, you know, at that point, if Syracuse wins out, then you got to well, drop Notre, Notre Dame. Well, Notre Dame's gone, yeah. So, it's, um, the, the conversation fixes itself. Yeah. This ought to be an interesting, an interesting I, last I, I hope to weeks. find chaos. Every year we've gotten it. I, I if, if Notre Dame and Clemson both get beat, I think absolutely UCF ends up in this thing. Oh. And they will use yeah. the, the pit win as yeah. – as the reason to get them in, and that could be crazy. If you've got Alabama, Michigan, Oklahoma, and UCF, like that could be a lot of fun. 
I mean, you you got Alabama, which is good defense, good offense. You got Michigan, which is good defense and and really good ball control offense. And then you got Oklahoma and UCF, which are just offense, offense, offense. That's right. They're just going to put up points, and if you make them punt, you're going to beat them. If you don't, you're going to lose. And that'll make for pretty good, uh, pretty good TV watching. It kind of stinks that the way that would match up is both games are the exact same. Like yeah. both games are power teams versus speed finesse score teams. I would almost rather see the two power teams play, the two score teams play, and then and then let the winner of those two teams play. Yeah. Yeah, that could be cool. And, and you never know what the committee's going to do, so who knows. Um, yeah, so and so we've both got the same top four, Michigan, Notre Dame, Clemson, Alabama, and it's in a different – the only difference is – Notre Dame and Clemson. Notre Dame and Clemson. Notre got, Dame's got a win over a, a playoff, playoff team. team. Yeah. I don't know how that doesn't count for more than a win over A&M. Uh, you, a four-loss A&M team. You might be right. You might be right. All right, that's going to wrap up our playoff predictions after week number 10. Don't forget, check out tunicatravel.com. Check out winningcureseverything.com. We will see you guys later on this week.